I never thought that four years of undergrad and a two-year master's degree would eventually mean that I am actually a professional gate holder, but here I am, proud of it. You know, I mean, dreams really do come true. be too muddy to do anything so it's not fun the calves are fed now run to the house change and get the kids to their school yep one of those mornings gotta love Monday before we get to school I had to make a pit stop to get a drink at Miss Jackson's country boys yeah baby does this matter does what matter she said uh, here's the dollar back she me. said what? She said she's gonna give me 99 cents, but she gave me a penny. She gave you a penny? Okay. Is that 99? That's one cent. Yeah, since you were. It's one cent over a dollar. It cost 99 cents, so she gave Did you back. No, she said she was gonna give me 99 cents. Okay. Anyway. No. Hey, baby. So, got the kids dropped off. Getting ready to go feed in the mud when my husband gets back. He went to help a friend who had dairy steers to take to market and needed an extra trailer. So when he gets back, we'll tackle the mud. We are enjoying a mild 55 degree day. Even though it's rained an inch and a half this weekend and feeding is absolutely horrendous because of the mud and because we have, we still have our cows and calves in smaller lots because they're not quite done calving, basically almost. And as soon as they are, then we will work, we'll run them through the chute and we'll work them and put them out on some larger pasture. But can you believe how fast that little monkey drinks that milk? You're all done. Look at that. Anyway, so that's what we're doing today. Got the kids delivered at homeschool co-op. We homeschool. Haven't really talked about that, but we do that. So on Mondays they go to a co-op, and Mom gets a day off to do other things, like writing. Because I'm a freelance writer for Progressive Farmer and a digital magazine called Ag Now. And for that magazine, I also record what I write. So if you don't like to read, you can click a button and let me read it to you. So I got that done today. Edited some pictures. I don't know, y'all. It's just always. A lot going on here. Anyway, we'll head out in the mud in a minute. Almost, I don't need that. I'm just going up the road. Almost forgot though that I need to make a phone call, business phone call, and we don't have a landline because it stopped working. And our cell phone service is really crappy, so I go up to the barn to conduct business in my truck. So that's amazing. Yay, rural internet and cell phone service. Still holding out hope one day we'll get both. Okay, office time, done. And the wind is whipping out there, which is good because when the wind whips, the mud starts to dry. I mean, hopefully. And I almost forgot that somebody is coming to get corn tonight that hasn't been bagged yet. So guess who gets to do that? And there's an M in my way. Okay, one down, nine to go. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but a while back I showed um, my husband picking corn with his old corn picker. Well, <laughs> this is after this is what's left after probably, I don't know, 400 or so bags that we've sold, at least. Yeah, we've still got plenty. And this is for deer hunters. Somebody's gonna ask me that. It's for deer hunters, so, yep. Here we go.
Yeah, don't even act like you're tired. <laughs> All right, that's done. 10 bags that need to be closed, but um, I don't know how to do it. My husband has this fancy little knot he does, and I haven't mastered it, so I figured I'd leave something for him to do. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Everybody's hungry. We're a little later feeding today, a lot later. My husband had to take a load of calves to market for a neighbor. Yeah, it's muddy. Obviously, this is not ideal feeding conditions. If we had another way right now, we would do it, but we do the best we can with what we have. I've seen it worse, but this isn't, isn't good. <laughs> Another fun thing, over the last few years, I have been able to add something else to my resume. Gate holding extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. I never thought that four years of undergrad and a two year master's degree would eventually mean that I am actually a professional gate holder, but here I am, proud of it. You know, I mean, dreams really do come true. And the sun came out. Maybe for more than 30 seconds. And the wind's blowing, so... That's what we need. Yeah.